Hey Glam Fam, Lynn Wood here with my beautiful daughter Zelina, and as you guys can see, she needs this mop done. Look at all of this. Yeah! It's, it's so much. So, we are going to do a simple pony hawk in her hair today, and uh, hopefully we won't have much fussing. She absolutely hates to have her hair done. So, I have our Kindle Fire for Kids tablet on here, and uh, I am going to put that baby to work. Thank you. So, we're gonna go ahead and get this started. I'm gonna be doing all voiceovers, um, but I will be giving you guys some tips for tender-headed people while we do this as well. All right, Glam Fam, so I'm just going to begin by spraying her hair down with water. It helps to kind of soften that hair up a bit, and I honestly don't like to manipulate the hair much without it in there. Now, as you guys can see here, I'm hitting a few knots, and I'll slow down in a bit and show you exactly how I come to detangle those. Uh, but I'm using my soft brush just to kind of help soften up and work those uh, tangles through. Here I'll slow down some because I want you guys to see how I'm manipulating these curls on the end when it comes to those knots. By pulling a few strands at a time out of the knot, you'll notice it doesn't mat up and knot quite as easily and it causes no discomfort to your little ones. So if you don't want them screaming and all that, think about how you're manipulating that hair, especially when it is knotted on the end. So I'm using uh, Shea Moisture's 100% Virgin Coconut Oil Leave-In Treatment, it's a really long name, uh, just to help soften and moisturize that hair as we brush it up. And from there, I'm going to apply a small amount of the Extreme Gel, which if you guys have been watching me any amount of time, you know that I love this stuff. It does not flake at all. It reactivates when you get it wet. And on top of that, it is not very expensive. The stuff is wonderful and it has some sort of voodoo going on in it. I don't know what the deal is. It's a magical gel. It's better than literally any professional gel I've ever used. Now I'm just putting this section in a ponytail. Uh, by the way, I parted from ear to ear across the occipital bone. Now I'm parting from ear to ear throughout the middle of the crown. And you guys can see I'm still going through that same detangling technique up top. And notice no fussing, no tears, no budging. She's just watching her Sesame Street and calling it a day. So every now and then she gets distracted. But in terms of like fighting me back, she doesn't do that because I'm not mentally stable for that. Anyway, so uh, we're just gonna go ahead through there. Notice I don't part just one time. For everyone that asks me for a parting tutorial, notice I part and then I go back and clean up and then I go back and clean up and then I go back and clean up. So don't think that just because it didn't get straight the first time that you did it means that you suck at parting. It just means you need to take your time. So we're gonna spray this section here just like we did the last one and brush those outside sections nice and smooth. If your baby has more coarse hair than this, you can still do this style, but instead of using like a liquid uh, spray on there, I would recommend using more of a cream moisturizer prior to gelling that hair. Uh, the cream moisturizer is gonna be a bit heavier on the hair and help you out with gaining some control on the hair. From there, we're gonna go up to the next section, which is gonna be from ear to ear across the top of the crown. Now, for those of you who don't know where the different sections on the head are and you want me to do a video on like a bald mannequin head or something, I can show you guys exactly where everything is to include the crown, the parietal ridge, the apex, the occipital bone, the fringe area, uh, the temporal area, not the temple, the temporal area. Um, we can go through all of that. So. If you want that, just let me know. Oh, and of course the nape, gotta cover that too. But um, if you want that, just let me know and I will get started on a video for that as well. Uh, now we're going through and just clean up that part line. We're gonna rubber band this section the same as we have the others. You guys can see this is not an overly complex hairstyle at all. And so it's just gonna come down to your level of patience and the techniques that you're using in order to keep your baby comfortable. Now here, I honestly don't need a ton of gel because she doesn't have any of her edges out uh, on this ponytail. But like right up front, you guys can see all those little flyaways up there. Those need to be controlled as well as the hair and the nape. So uh, you see it right there around her face, it's serious. So um, if your baby has really fine hair like Zelina does, you will need a little bit of like a gel or a product like that. And notice when I'm applying it, I'm not applying it all throughout the hair. I'm just putting it on the outside edge because putting product directly on the scalp and around that scalp area can cause a huge degree of itching. Now this part line here, instead of taking it straight, I am rounding it out 
and making a curvature on there. And that's basically to help hide this part line some. So it's gonna look like one ponytail when I finish rather than looking like two. The benefit of having it be two is that it gives a bit more fullness around the face uh, while still looking like I have just one ponytail and helping me to control those flyaways a bit better by having extra ponytails in the mix. So uh, as you guys will see here, this hair, as I get up to the top section, the hair wants to start falling forward. So I'm just gonna push it back out of my way and we're going to continue with the same steps from there, we're gonna clip that front section right on out of the way because I don't want any of those little hairs to get caught. Uh, keep in mind that when you're pulling small amounts of hair, it hurts more on most cases than pulling larger amounts of hair. So if you see them fussing and you're thinking like, I just pulled three strands, child, that hurts more than pulling the whole head sometimes. Chill. All right, so notice this ponytail here is now falling forward. There's no way I'm gonna be able to neatly put this section in a ponytail without catching some of that hair into a ponytail. So what I'm gonna do is brush those edges smooth and then I'm going to go ahead and lay my product on there. From there, I'll clip this excess hair that I've already ponytailed back out of the way, like this here. And that way I can focus on getting this ponytail nice and smooth without any extra little pieces in there pulling or causing it to tangle and get wrapped all around the rubber bands, which would basically lead to hair breakage and uh, discomfort for my baby later. And I can't have all that. From there, I've got her turned around to face forward and I'm just gonna apply a very small amount of gel to the edges. When I say very small, I mean like literally like one little dab. Um, and we're just gonna apply that around the hairline. I'm gonna take the same soft brush and lay those edges, baby, because my baby has to be slayed. I mean, we are the glam fam after all. You can't be glam with your edges looking busted. So if you've joined the glam fam by subscribing, make sure your edges look cute, girl. Anyway, uh, so this is pretty much it. From there, I'm just putting in some final details, making sure everything looks smooth, and that is all, boo. So now we're gonna get into the final rundown. All right, you guys, so her little pony hawk is finished and I have this little hair bow here that kind of matches her shirt because of the gold. So I'm gonna take this baby and pop it right here in the side. And that way she has her little pony hawk decor. Hold on. See there? And then from there she is good to go. What do you think, Lena? What do you think? <laughs> you like it? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, great. So, uh, if you guys learned something, let us know by giving it a thumbs up, uh, by sharing it with a friend, or by leaving us a comment down in the comment box below. And until next time, you guys, take care, God bless, and stay glam. Zelina, can you say bye? Bye. Can you say stay glam? Bye. Stay glam. Stay glam. We'll work on it. Take care, you guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.